Hi y'all, it's Daisha, and I'm here to talk about Halloween, one of my favorite times of the year that also happens to be ruined by racist asshats who think that they have the winning response for why blackface is okay in 2016. In the wise words of Kanye, you ain't got the answers and you never will. It's Meet Me at the Zoo in the morning at nine o'clock. Yeah, with the rest of the monkeys. With the rest of the monkeys. Yeah, I'll bring my grandpa with me. I decided to play a game with my coworkers to see if they can see why blackface is so unnecessary in 2016 and 2017, 2018. You know what? Just forever. I had a model come in and dress up as four prominent black celebrities. Given that the argument is that we'd never ever, 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 ever be able to know who these celebrities are because the people wearing the costumes aren't black, I actually wanted to see if that was true. I'm thinking this is like an early days of Miley Cyrus. The plaid shirt looks like Al Borland from Home Improvement. Looks like a, a nice blonde hipster. Uh, Beyonce? Look at you, yeah. Woo. I think of Beyonce, I think of the leotards, I think of like iconic stuff from her music videos. So this was the outfit from her Flawless video. Oh, I'm so bad. I'm not a big enough Beyonce fan, that's my fault. What gave it away for you? This. So if this is her costume, she needs to be like this all day long. Oh, easy, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. How could that be anyone but Michael Jackson? I'm gonna say this is Michael Jackson, although it also could be Eddie Murphy from his Raw. Sliding in for the win. What gave it away for you? The jacket. Well, it's an iconic outfit. Oh, this one looks easy already. I mean, this is Prince. Definitely Prince. Prince. So you would say Prince, final answer? Absolutely. Okay, Prince. <laughs> what about this allowed you to get that it was Prince? The glasses, the hair, the outfit again. The uh, pirate shirt, that's pretty classic Prince. Diana Ross? Dolly Parton, maybe? Does Diana Ross sing Once Love Got To Do With It? No. Okay. That might be your problem. <laughs> <laughs> Does Tina Turner? Tina. Tina. Woo! Tina who? Tina Turner. Yeah. There is the only one Woo! Tina. Turn the winner. <laughs> Win that winner. You get a beautiful skull Yay. for being the winner. You know I don't like bullshit like this. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole reason why I brought you here is that it's Halloween season and it's very common for people to want to dress up as iconic people and iconic black people. The issue is though is that a lot of people then feel justified in using blackface. Really? Yeah. Why do you think some people feel so compelled to use blackface even though they know it's offensive? It's funny, it's, no, it's something I've never grown up with the, the thought of being an option. Exactly, same. exactly, <laughs> right? Um, More people need to be raised like you. I think that people think that, oh yeah, it's just my costume and they don't realize like the historical significance of blackface and what it means. They've never had that done to them so they don't understand the gravity of the situation. I know this might feel like a strange question but yeah, did you yeah. ever feel like when we went through the pictures that you needed blackface? face to understand who these people were? No. So you struggled with a few of them and like with those that you struggled with, like do you think that them being in blackface would have helped you anymore? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think my lack of, of understanding pop culture was is a, a definite divider. These people aren't iconic for their race. They're iconic for their hair. They're iconic for their style. They're iconic for their dance move. The better your actual costume is, the less you have to do anywhere else, right? The answer is not being like, if only I was brown, <laughs> they would have gotten it. It's like, no, you, then you would have offended a lot of people. You guys, 100, 100%. Blackface is never okay. It'll never be okay. It's not okay. It wasn't okay. That, that's just how it is, y'all. Curly is taking me to church just, with this sermon just, over here. Like if people don't recognize it from what you're wearing, then it's probably just a bad costume. So just to recap some of the major tips that were offered as alternatives to blackface, your look needs to be super duper iconic. In the words of Claudia, if nobody knows who you are, it's because your costume is shitty and not because you needed blackface for people to understand. Tip number two, iconic actions and phrases are your friends. When done non-offensively. There's a line there, folks. And tip number three, it never hurts to just tell people who you are. I mean, it just saves you a whole lot more controversy than you 
using blackface. Just to be clear, blackface is not and will never be something that's okay to do. Ever. There are so many more fun and creative ways to honor your favorite black celebrities without dehumanizing an entire race at the same time. Real talk, actual blackness is magical. And you can't cheaply imitate something this magical. So with that, have a happy and non-racist Halloween, everyone. Don't do blackface, yay. But for real, don't do it. Just don't do it. You don't wanna be, don't be the one. Don't do it. Just don't do it.